hello Scorpio and cross watchers thank you guys so much for joining in welcome to natural healing tarot today we are going to take a look at your weekend guidance tarot reading for January 10th through the 12th if you find the messages helpful or that it resonates with your situation please feel free to like the video or comment below also if you would like future messages you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel Everyone is always welcome here, and I upload messages daily. So let's take a look here, Scorpio. What can we see for you for this weekend? Also, guys, please keep in mind the messages here are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. Um, if there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something here in the message. Also, guys, I do a drawing here every month for free personal reading. So if it's something that you want to get entered into, comment your astrological sign below. And last but certainly not least, I pull a power thought card at the end of every message just for that little positive boost. So complicated, high priestess of fire and deceit. So Scorpio, I feel like there's been a situation here that has gotten a little complicated. I definitely am de detecting some deceit. Okay, there's also a little bit of a warning here. Um, not to get caught up in passion driven decisions, impulses, try to be more practical about moving forward try to think more logically about your next moves is uh the message that's coming through so let's see here what we can see for you for this week most important message for scorpio what does scorpio need to see for this weekend So something is definitely ended, but this ending, even though it may seem very hurtful, um, very gut wrenching, this 10 of swords symbolizes like a gut punch, like something that knocks the wind out of you. Okay. It's something that's actually meant to tenderize you, something that's meant to open you up be more open emotionally okay i feel like this happened all of a sudden with the nine of swords right or the nine the knight of swords this happened really quickly this happened unexpectedly and i feel like it's causing it's causing a lot of stress within your life it's causing a lot of grief if you will okay now understanding here that part of the lesson that needs to be learned is being able to let go being able to let go and let things be i also am getting some advice through the devil in reverse here Beware of toxic behaviors. So beware of addiction, beware of overeating, beware of overindulging to suppress emotions. Because that's just going to cause more confusion. Seven of Cups. It's going to cause you to feel conflicted as well within yourself. Um also about the situation the best movement forward here is to focus on 
healing. Healing self and making a plan for your future. Okay, reviewing, releasing, um, going within, really healing yourself from the situation, really just trying to have a better understanding of what happened and why. Um, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to take a really practical look at the situation, how it played out in the past. Okay, so go through the whole timeline, look at all the positive things that have happened, reminisce over those memories, you know, and then focus on those negative things. What are the negative aspects of this relationship that led to this ending? There's also going to be a need to make a decision here, Scorpio. You're going to have to decide. Now, this decision could very well be to wait or go. Um, I do feel a little bit of resistance here. There's some resistance of acceptance, but there's also some resistance from this other person. And not wanting to... Not wanting to talk, not wanting to do this. I feel like there's been a lot of water under the bridge. And this very well could involve a fire sign. Aries Leo Satch. I also have Capricorn coming through. Um, Leo. Aries Leo Satch. And we also have here a lot of air energy. So a lot of in your head, a lot of, a lot of the reason why the situation is the way it is, is because how you're thinking, how you're perceiving this. For instance, instead of trying to look at this, what did I do to deserve this? Why is this happening to me? Why am I going through this? Try to ask, what is there to learn from all this? How could I have reacted differently? How could I have handled the situation a little bit better so this didn't turn out this way? I do feel like there is a lot of sadness, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of stress, okay? these emotions are being mirrored okay but I do feel like there are lessons that need to be learned here okay maybe this is a belief system around relationships um, maybe this is a need to open up be more open emotionally I know that Scorpios can have a hard time sometimes being open with their emotions so maybe this person is requesting that of you and, and that's a little difficult that's something that you that might be part of this decision whatever the case may be we have the hermit showing up here so introspect right go within go through this healing process um clear out this confusion clear out the confusion um and it's time to make make a decision and then stick with it. So ask yourself, what do you envision the outcome being? What's the ultimate outcome in your mind? And then take it that one step further and ask why. Trust your intuition. So, Scorpio, I do want to do an extended reading on this, okay? I'm going to take a look at this person, what you're walking away from, what their position is. Also, want to see where this is headed, where this is going to go. We'll pull out the psychic tarot, the guidance cards, all that fun stuff. So, if it's something you're interested in, the link will be below in the description box. Otherwise... Scorpio, 
the power thought card that's coming out for you is I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. So, Scorpio, that is the message I have for you coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.